All right, I am going to explain how to t take apart and, more importantly, reassemble your tricolor starburst puzzle. Of the six outermost pieces, one of those is a key, and the key just slides out, just like that. Then we can take off those pieces. Next, we'll slide out this long piece right here. And then take off that stuff. So I was there. We'll lift off this sub assembly. Let that crumble apart. Slide out that long piece. Now, of color one, we have six long pieces. Okay? Three of them have a row of of notches. The other three are identical. Then we have two with the same row of four notches, but they have an additional notch over on the side. And these two are also identical to each other. Okay. Then there's a long piece that has only two notches. Of color two... We have 12 shorter pieces, all identical to each other. And they each have two notches and a third side notch. Okay, so there's 12 of those. Color three consists of two of those exact same parts there. The shorts having the one side notch, and we have three of them which have only the two notches. Okay, these three do not have a side notch, and those three are identical to each other. Then we have the key. The key has no notches, it must come out first, and it is the last part to be installed when we assemble the star first. All right. To start, we'll grab two of the longs with a row of four notches on them, okay? And we're going to turn them so the notches face in towards each other. Now, into the, the end notch, we're going to take a piece of color three with only a pair of notches, and we're going to slide it in just like that. Okay? So its notches are up. Okay? Now, a color two will stick these in with the side notch up, and the two notches are going to ride on the corners of the two long pieces. Okay? So, side notch up, two notches towards the long pieces, and it's just going to lay on there just like that. Okay? Now I can hold it with my thumb here and those fingers there and I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And that creates a tunnel all the way through. Now into that tunnel we'll take our last long piece with one row of four notches and we're going to slide it through. Okay? The notches up. And get it centered, all right, and we'll set this sub assembly aside and come back to it in just a moment. All right, now we're going to take the two logs with the side notch, turn them as what we just did on that sub assembly so that the notches face in towards each other, and we're going to have both of the side notches on the same side, both facing up, okay? And now we'll do the same thing that we just did on that sub assembly. So, of color three, we'll, we'll take a piece having only two notches, and we're going to stick it in there in the end. Okay? So, so its notches are facing up. And now, two of color two, with the side notch up, to the two notches in against the long pieces, we're going to lay it on there. Okay, just like that. 
and then want to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay? So again, when you've got a tunnel here, just like we did on the first subassembly. Now I'm going to hold this so it all stays together, just like that. And we'll take the last one, short one, having only two notches, and we're going to feed it in through the opposite end. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on this end that we just did here and that we did there. So two of color two, we're going to lay it in there again, notch up. Okay, just a little lay it there exactly how we did on the other side. It's the same thing right there. All right, now we'll take the initial assembly here, and these two upright long will go through the holes in our, our second subassembly. Okay, so we're going to slide that down onto it. The two notches on our long pieces facing up, so it's going to go on there just like that and slide all the way down. Okay, now that leaves us a tunnel through here. We can hold the whole thing in our hand just like this. Now, color two here. These short ones with these side notches. I'm going to lay one of them with the side notch facing away from me and the two notches facing the center of the, the puzzle. Okay? Now, but it's a long right here. Well, we'll sit in the bottom notch of our piece. Okay, so it's going to go in there just like that. So the side notch is away from us. The side notch rides here on this long piece, going across. So it sits in there just like that. We will take another of color two. Again, side notch turned away from us. The bottom of the two notches is going to go around this piece, the one that goes towards and away from us. So side notch turned away. It's going to sit there just like that. Now, color three with a side notch, side notch up, and the two notches are going to sit there on these two that, that we just set in place, okay? Side notch up, so it's going to sit in there just like that, okay? You, let's just see what's going on there. Just, oops. There. Side notch up. And it sits there just like that. Now, I can hold it off with my thumb right there. And it'll all stay in place while we do that same thing on the opposite side. Okay? So, color two. Side notch turned away from us. It's going to lay in there just like that. Okay? Another color two. Side notch away from us. It's going to lay in there just like that. You see what's going on here? Okay, and now, our last color three, having a side notch, is going to lay on there just like we just did on the back side of the puzzle. And this now creates a long tunnel all the way through from one side to the other. Into that tunnel, we're going to slide our last color one piece. That's the long one, having only two notches. Okay, and we just slide it right into there, all the way through, just like that. It's all... A little locked into place now. So, our our last two color twos, side notch up, we want to lay it in there just like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Side notch up, two notches in against the long pieces, and it's just going to set there just like that. Then our key, okay, we'll just slide it in there and lock it all in place. If that is how to assemble your tricolor star burst burr puzzle.